Hi, Jay Briggs here, winemaker, 45 North. We're just about to embark on our long journey to get some whiskey barrels. Let's go. After long, long, long waits, <laughs> here we are. We made the long trek early this morning all the way down to get the whiskey barrels for yes we're making north for again you <laughs> so here we are ben's here we're loading up whiskey barrels <laughs> all right let's load them up let's get it done press the red because all the red we're getting is really, really, really red. Okay. Um, so we'll press it. We're not going to ferment it on the skins. I don't need to have a tannin structure. So we'll ferment it in the tank probably. Mm -hmm. We have room in the tank for it. And it's only going to ferment for like maybe two days mm -hmm. before, we, before we knock it with the alcohol. But then we'll, then we'll add all the spirits to it and we'll shock it. We'll chill it. We'll let it hang out there. Um, and then we'll filter it. Actually, we'll, we'll, we'll let it set, we'll rack it off into another tank and see how it is, and then from there we'll fill the barrels. If we need to filter it, we will, but I'm not thinking we're gonna need to. Okay. Might put it into the barrel of dirty. Yeah. So now the fermentation is just about finished, so we are going to add the spirits now. We'll add a carefully calculated amount of spirits. Uh, that'll stop the fermentation. Um, that'll also uh, complete the fortification process, um, which is adding a high proof spirit to a low proof wine, fortifies it. Um, we'll let that meld together for, um, for a little bit, probably over the weekend and then we will fill the Traverse City whiskey barrels with that resulting uh, fortified wine. Here it goes, there's no turning back now. So this spirit that we're putting into the North Pour was uh, distilled for us by Northern Latitudes Distillery right down the road. Um, it is uh, a blend of Riesling, Pinot Noir, and Chardonnay. Uh, we had a little extra wine laying around, which was good because we needed the extra spirit. Um, we're also gonna use a little bit of a barrel aged uh, brandy that we have uh, in house that has uh, been carried over for at least five years. So um, the barrel aged brandy will give it a little bit of a head start on the aging process. Um, so now that we've got it fortified, the next step is to rack into barrels. Let's go take a look. Last time you were visiting us here, we had just put the spirits into the red wine for North Port. Um, that fortified the wine, brought the alcohol up, uh, fermentation is halted. It's been setting uh, for the last month and a half. Everything's good to go. We've stirred it a few times. Um, now we are filling barrels. Uh, thanks to our friends at the Traverse City Whiskey Company, we have um, brought in 12 uh, freshly emptied whiskey barrels. Uh, the difference in the barrels, you can see how these barrels are uh, obviously different than the barrels that we have elsewhere in the cellar. Um, they are American oak, they are charred. The rest of our barrels here are mainly French oak. Um, they're a little bit thicker, they're heavier, um, and they've had whiskey in them. Um, the whiskey will penetrate the staves of the barrel and when we put the wine in it will penetrate that same space and actually start to pull some of that uh, some of that residual alcohol and the residual flavors from the bourbon and the chard inside of the barrel out into the wine um, giving it that uh, that big that big boost that big um, 
oak punch and a little bit of the bourbon burn uh, that you get from aging in this type of vessel. We want, we want to have as much concentration here as possible so everything that gets uh, everything that gets evaporated away will concentrate. So hopefully we'll, we'll have a big amount of head space in here. Um, we call it ullage in, uh, in barrels instead of head space. Uh, that'll help to start oxidizing the wine as well, giving it that really nice brick red character around the outside um, when you put it in a glass. Uh, that'll probably start happening within, I would say, a year. Um, so we'll check it probably, we'll check them probably in every six months. We'll come in and take a look at them and see how things are going. It's a pretty stable wine at this point. The alcohol is pretty high, so we don't have to make any, any uh, additions as far as stability goes. So, um, yeah, so I guess we'll talk to you in about six months to a year. So welcome back to North Port Tracking. Um, the North Port's been in these Traverse City whiskey barrels for going on three years now. That's the goal was to keep it, um, keep a three-year program going with the North Port. Um, we're gonna try and see how it is now, see if we're ready to pull it out of barrel and get it ready to bottle up. So let's see what's happening. starting to get a little um, brick red character which tells me it's aging a little bit. Uh, lots of berries. Uh, this blend, this blend, if you remember, was uh, Marquette and we added uh, neutral grape spirits to it that we had northern latitudes to still for us uh, right down the road. So um, keeping it in the community for sure. Yeah, it has a nice alcohol balance to it. There's still some fruit. Um, it's more dried fruit, um, like a fruit compote almost. Um, the alcohol, a little, little bit of whiskey shows through a little bit on the back end of it. Um, yeah, I think these are ready. So now we'll pull it out of barrel, now we'll rack it into a tank, let it settle out. There's definitely going to be uh, some solids and some tannins from that it's pulled out of the, out of the barrel, so we'll rack it a couple times. Um, filter it, and then we'll be ready to bottle. So it's bottling day. We've um, settled and racked and filtered the North Pore. Now it lives here in this tote, um, and we're gonna get ready to bottle. We'll bottle about roughly 120 cases of it. 115 to 120 cases of it, I think, today um, in 750 milliliter bottles with T tops. And uh, yeah, we're gonna let it go. 